Hey guys, and welcome to another BMS uh, Hornet 4.33 video. This was a special request by a viewer to do some gun symbology in air-to-air dogfights. So we're going to talk about the different modes that you can use and demonstrate the symbology in an actual fight. So we're going up against this MiG-23, and uh, shouldn't be too much of a fight. Um, we should be able to get behind them pretty easily and actually uh, pull a gun's kill. All right, so typically the symbology you're going to see when you're just uh, have a bandit locked up on radar is uh, something like that little box there, that target designation box. And down here, that's our closure speed, so we're at uh, 1,076 nautical miles per hour closure rate, and then he's at 17,000 feet in the yellow there. So if you look up here, you can see his uh, target altitude is 17,000. Uh, he's at 3.2 nautical miles away from us. And so if I switch over to the dogfight mode on my HOTUS stick, using that switch, uh, it'll have him locked up. And you can see the closure right here, 1080. And then uh, his altitude, of course, is 17,000. And then this is our distance to him for uh, our 3.2. All right, so let's unpause it and get the fight on. There he is, passed under me. Lock. All right, so let's get behind him and we'll demonstrate some of the uh, symbology here. Lock. All right, and it's flashing, unfortunately. Uh, so that gunnel, that funnel, uh, we'll kind of talk about what that looks like and what that is in a sec here. There's different modes that you can be in. This is eggs, um, and there's uh, an older mo uh, older mode called uh, LCOS, or it's um, it's lead computing optical sight, and then you also have a snap mode. Uh, but the main kind of uh, meat and potatoes of a dogfighting system is going to be the eggs system. This is the en enhanced uh, gun sight, and it's going to show you a funnel of where uh, the plane of travel of the bandit is. Okay, uh, so you'll see that funnel kind of wrap around his wings, and you can change the wingspan in the uh, Uf UFC here. Um, so right now we have him locked up. Uh, this little triangle here, as it it goes counterclockwise, kind of like when you're doing a uh, gun strafe, same exact thing. If it's in the 9 o'clock position and you're 9,000 feet away from him, 6 o'clock position, you're 6,000 feet away from him. Uh, the LCOS mode is an older uh, mode, and from what I've heard, it's actually done away with completely in the newer F-16 models because uh, EGS is, is such a good system. Alright, so let's continue in this fight and I'll talk about some of the symbology. Lock. Lock, 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 lock. And you see that funnel lock. kind of forming around them. And there's a little dot that appears right in the middle of where he is. I could probably shoot him right here, but yeah, let's just get some separation from him. So there he is. He just reversed. I'm doing a lag pursuit, so I'm pointing my nose behind him. And then a pure pursuit would be me pointing my nose directly at him, and a lead pursuit would be me pointing the nose in front of him. Lock. All right, perfect. So here's the funnel of where our plane is, and we want to get his wings within this funnel. Okay. Um, it's very simplified now. So that little gun cross right there, that little circle, uh, that is the... Um, the 1G marker, and that's essentially 
where you want to place your, your bandit. Uh, excuse me, there's a 1G marker and a uh, 9G marker. And, and the symbology here, um, I think the way eggs is updated is actually that little gun cross right there, that little circle. If I pull the trigger right now, that means my bullets are going to impact exactly where he is, as long as he's within this funnel. Now, he doesn't have to be perfectly in there, okay? Uh, he can, you know, he can, his fuselage can go through that circle, and you can pull, and bullets are going to go through his left wing. The common practice, uh, at least of F-16 pilots, as far as I know, is that they will pull this funnel, they'll get the bandit at the bottom of this funnel, they'll pull a hard lead pursuit on him, so that means you're going to get the nose in front of him. You're going to get the bandit in this area down here, okay? Uh, and then you're going to do a nice squeeze and, and actually unload the aircraft, which means stop pulling and then I'll let the bullet spray across them. So hopefully I can demonstrate that here. I'm going to pull pretty hard. Okay, so right here is where you want to get him. Now, if, if we were to pull... Um, let me try to get a radar lock on him again. Or we'll get him in a sec here. Um, if you were to shoot right where that circle was, you would get a kill, okay? Um, but if you kind of want to make sure that you get a nice amount of rounds, you're going to pull, uh, just before you get ready to shoot, you're going to pull lead on him, and then you're going to unload uh, a string of bullets in that funnel. And he's going to fly right through that, okay? Alright, so there he is uh, in the funnel. Lock. I'm going to pull a uh, lead on him. And there's our kill. Um, so it, it kind of goes quick. You know, these are huge uh, bullets. 20 millimeter bullets that are, are just going to rip through his fuselage. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're, they're cannon shells and they're explosive. Alright, and there's our tracers. Those tracers line right up in the funnel there. Okay, here's where the kill occurred right here. Uh, you can see debris down there where he actually uh, impacted, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so the um, the funnel is very accurate in telling you exactly where your bullets are gonna are gonna land and it only takes you know a few of these rounds to actually get a kill. Alright. So just to keep it really simple, if you get that little circle in the middle there, just put the uh, the pipper on the aircraft, pull the trigger, you should get a kill. Not a problem, right? Um, if you can, pull a nice lead pursuit, get them towards the bottom of that funnel, and then unload the aircraft. That means stop pulling on the stick, and just as you unload, uh, go ahead and throw a, a nice burst, uh, like a two-second burst of rounds through that funnel, and let him fly through the funnel. And, and rounds should impact them. So that is, <laughs> for the most part, it uh, doesn't really get too much more complicated than that. All right. Put the uh, pipper on the aircraft, that little circle, and squeeze the trigger. Should get a good kill. All right. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.